Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to another battle vid. Now this one is between the Galaxy S23 Ultra here and the OnePlus 11. It's pretty much the battle of the green phones. Now, if you're joining us for the very first time, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to get notified about more videos like this. So the OnePlus 11 is here and it's competing against the Galaxy because Everyone's launching a new phone in February and we got to see how they stack up. So let's start off with the hardware and then we move down the line. The OnePlus 11 comes with a 6.7 inch display, 120 hertz uh, refresh rate. It's a variable refresh rate, similar to the Galaxy, which is slightly larger, 6.8, 120 hertz as well. Now both displays do look lovely, LTPO display. You can see how the wallpapers look on them. Very nice and for wallpaper fans, I'll leave the wallpapers linked down for you guys in the comments. Now, the other thing too, of course, is this has a brand new camera housing. OnePlus now has a 50 megapixel main sensor, 32 for its portraits, as well as a 48 megapixels for the ultra wide. Samsung has a four camera housing, 200 megapixel sensor, we know periscopic zoom, the 12 megapixels are ultra, ultra wide. So we'll see and ha see how both of them stack up. Now, in terms of other hardware features, we do have Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processors in both devices, with the difference of the Galaxy having the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 4 Galaxy, which has a high, slightly higher clock speed. So what does that mean? Well, first thing is benchmarks. Taking a look at the benchmarks on both devices, clearly the Galaxy is, wins on all categories, single core and multi-core here. Uh, it really shows the benefit of that higher clock speed. And then when we're going to compute scores, the Galaxy is also higher here with uh, a much higher score, about over 2,000 points. So what does that mean for performance? Well, looking at our games, we start off with Call of Duty Mobile. Call of Duty Mobile is, runs really well on both. 89 frames per second on the OnePlus 11, and it does 89 frames per second on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. So that is to be expected. Then we move over to Apex Legend, where we see the same performance again of 60 frames per second on the OnePlus 11, running Ultra HD Ultra, and 60 frames per second on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. As we move over to PUBG Mobile here, we see the same results as you'd expect. And I think this is something we will see across the board because they have the same processor in essence. Uh, Smooth Extreme on PUBG, 60 frames per second, uh, and Ultra HD Ultra, uh, 40 frames per second for both devices, the OnePlus and the Galaxy. Now, Genshin Impact, of course, which is a game that's very tasking. The performance here is the same. 30 minutes of gameplay on the OnePlus 11, 60 frames per second, all the way through the Galaxy. In my gaming video, I had mentioned it was 55 frames per second. I did rerun it again a couple of times and I got 60 frames per second the more times that I ran it. So the Galaxy also does 60 frames per second for 30 minutes of gameplay. Now you're wondering, what about temperatures? Is this something different here? Well, in terms of temps, the OnePlus did 105 to 111 degrees in terms of temps, which is roughly between 40 uh, to about 42, 43 degrees Celsius for, for my Celsius fans, while the Galaxy, uh, while playing um, Genshin Impact, did 105 to 110. So temperatures were similar in terms of cooling. So you can expect similar performance from both devices. Now, when we move to the cameras here, we see some very interesting results from both devices with the front and the rear. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, it's out here, it's windy. Um, I did some shopping, but I wanted to just see how the sound sample is in very windy conditions of the Galaxy S23 Ultra and the OnePlus 11. So, whew, man, it is, it is brutally cold out here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, it's fun. Let me walk into the sunlight because basically I'm in the shade and here you go. I'm going to walk into the sun so it's balance and you get an idea of me just in sunlight, direct sunlight. Whew. It's cold, but it's fun.
Quite interesting with the front-facing camera at 1080p, OnePlus still stays at that position, which I am not a fan of. And also it's <coughs> nighttime video is something that needs some improvement. But the OnePlus does do a really good job, especially with daytime video, as well as 8K video recording, which both devices can do quite well. So it's good to see the OnePlus play well within this space. So the cameras are solid. We have some good competition going on here. What about charging and batteries? Now, both devices have 5,000 milliamp batteries, which is quite interesting, uh, but how do you charge them? Now, Samsung does not provide a charger in the box. That is something they've done. They've now taken out at least for the last two years, while OnePlus does provide a charger in the box. In the US, it is a SuperVoke 80 watt charger. Internationally, it's a 100 watt charger. What does that give you for charging speeds? Well, from zero to 100 here, it is, 30 minutes, which is quite impressive. So you can quickly charge your device as fast as possible. It also has wireless charging. While the Galaxy takes about an hour and 15 minutes for 45 watt charging, which you have to buy your charger separately. So OnePlus pretty much has a huge win case here with the OnePlus 11. Now in terms of things that separate both devices, here is where the Galaxy has a slighter edge in my mind. The S Pen does a lot of work. You can use it for so many things. Plus just the remote feature with the S Pen goes a long way. And of course, taking notes and all the S Pen features. OnePlus, however, did bring back the OnePlus slider this year. So it's actually awesome to see that. And I'm glad that that is there because you know OnePlus fans, that's something you guys have been looking for. So what does that mean? And who do I think won this battle? This is very, very difficult because the OnePlus really comes in and plays a hard game against the Galaxy here. The Galaxy has some benefits, but before I even finalize this, we have to put into account the pricing. The OnePlus 11 is priced at $699 for 8 gigabytes, 128, and $799 uh, for uh, 12 gigabytes, 256. So you do have a relatively cheap pricing compared to the Galaxy, which starts at 1199 for 256 gigabytes, uh, eight gigabytes of RAM. So you tell me, which would you prefer now once you know the pricing? Is it the Galaxy or is it the OnePlus? I will leave it up to you. Leave your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think. Camera, images, every aspect, and always enjoy your entertainment.